Hi guys, so today I wanted to talk about sort of my academic story um, starting from high school to college to med school now. So if you guys don't know, I moved here from Korea in seventh grade. So I went to seventh grade at a private Christian school just to like not be around any other Koreans to learn English. And then eighth grade, I was in public school. And then ninth grade, I attended public school as well. So in high school, um, my parents told me that if I got straight A's, I would get a computer in my own room. So I really worked hard for that ninth grade. So ninth grade, I did really well in school. So I got straight A's. Um, and after getting straight A's, they all moved me, to, the school moved me to like uh, honors level classes. So starting 10th grade on, I pretty much like never got straight A's again. So I wasn't the best student in high school. Like I wasn't a bad student, but um, I guess compared to some of the other students who do really well in high school, I was not really that student. So if you can see my um, ninth grade, I took like typical English history. Um, I took Spanish as my foreign language. Um, I, did, I was very active in the band, so I played a clarinet and I played the trumpet in um, marching band. So um, I took a lot of music classes throughout high school. Um, and that was sort of my, um, my hobby, I guess. Um, so in 10th grade, I took some AP classes. I took some honors classes. And I remember thinking 10th grade that it was actually really hard to get adjusted to being in this new environment um, of honors classes, dealing with um, like other students who grew up in America, spoke fluent English, and um, they were always in honors classes, like starting from like, I don't know, sixth grade or something. So I remember struggling a little bit um, 10th grade and I started to catch up a little bit 11th grade. And by 12th grade, I was pretty comfortable and I had what you guys would typically call like senioritis, where I pretty much like cut a lot of classes. I didn't really um, take anything that seriously. I had a lot of absences. I took a lot of like fake classes, like fashion design, um, band, percussion ensemble, music theory, where it's just like you just go and like you get a good grade. I can see here that I got like C's in health and phys ed, which I don't know how that happened, but probably because I never wanted to go. But so after high school, um, I attended a small liberal arts college in New York called New School. Um, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, so. I think that's why I didn't do as well in high school because I didn't have that direction I needed to do well. And I think either first or second year at new school, I took a neuroscience class and that class really made me want to pursue medicine. Um, so I started to look at other schools to transfer to because new school didn't have um, a lot of the traditional science classes that you need to take um, to to be prepared for med school basically. So I was looking at different schools in the city to transfer to, and I ended up transferring to Barnard after spending two years at U School. So when I first got to Barnard, it was once again a really big challenge because everyone at Barnard like, seemed to know what they were doing. They, everyone seemed really smart. So I remember like first year or so, I kind of struggled. Um, I don't think that my grades were that great at Barnard my first year either. But I got the hang of things after one year and I started to do well. And I really started to work towards my goal of going to med school. And I knew that I needed to have a certain um, GPA and um, get a certain score on the MCAT if I wanted to go to med school. So having those concrete goals like really helped me work hard. And studying at Barnard with um, my classmates who are very smart and very competitive ultimately helped me prepare for med school. So um, I guess moral of the story is if you're not the best student in high school, don't worry. There's plenty of time um, to sort of redeem yourself or remarket yourself um, to be able to go to med school if that's your goal. So if I could go back and give myself some advice for med school if that's your goal, here's what I would tell myself. I would say, Take it easy in high school, develop some hobbies, have fun, um, sleep, and you know, develop, like, develop and find out who you are. And in college, 
get good grades um, um, and do well on your MCAT and you'll be able to get into med school. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye.